Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 21 online CFM game. We are now in week 7 of the 2023 season, here in the Premier Madden League. Last time out, our Detroit Lions took our first loss of the season. We started red hot, 5-0, but got cooled off just a bit in last week's matchup against the Giants. Got brought back to reality, one would say. Now, for this week's game against the Falcons, we're about to be completely taken out of reality for a reason that I can promise you, you will not see coming. DJ Uyongole is out for today's game. Not with an injury. It didn't miss anything. DJ, ta-da, is suspended for today's game for... I don't, I, I don't really know why, to be honest. <laughs> it was from our Week 2 game against the Carolina Panthers, according to what is going on here, and according to what is defined as a blowout in the league. I don't really know what DJ was taken out for. Maybe because we didn't take out our guys in a 28-point game against the Carolina Panthers with a couple of minutes left when we just ran the ball. Maybe they were mad that we passed the ball when we were up 21 in the fourth quarter, but uh, it says blowouts 28 to 35 points, so I don't think that can be it. But for whatever reason, DJ Weongole is not allowed to play in tonight's game. So the rookie takes a seat on the pine, and in comes Matt Stafford. That's right. You can never get rid of Matt Stafford. He will always show up in a Detroit Lions uniform. He will be playing against the Falcons. The former Georgia Bulldog himself will go to Georgia and hopefully lead our Detroit Lions back into the win column. You guys see the Atlanta Falcons, super talented team. A lot of stars, especially on the defensive end. I think they have a star in that entire front seven. They got Khalil Mack and Chandler Jones. They got Jonathan Allen inside. Deion Jones patrol in the middle. It's scary. And we are underway to see what we can do against this Falcons defense without DJ Uyangole. It's a one-game suspension. So it's uh, Matt Stafford for one outing to have some fun and hopefully lead us to a victory. First things first, though, we start in the defensive end. Cunningham, whoa, just gets it off. Pressure in his face. And that man just got rocked. Will Harris is laying the lumber Todd Gurley up the middle gaping hole it's Walker to beat Tracy Walker does a good job to not get his ankles broken now it's Borgie in the game and Borgie gonna get two maybe three yards they'll stay on the ground with Gurley oh blocking look good but Jordan Birch the rookie able to shed through and now it's a third down and five they'll run it one more time it's Borgie inside got the first and nearly got the touchdown as well and speaking of Jordan Birch he's down on the ground holding his hand in the meantime Gurley gonna to fall forward into the end zone an opening drive touchdown for the Atlanta Falcons though we'll have to hold our breath and wait to see what the injury news is on the promising rookie who is off to an electric start and thankfully it's not going to be a long-term injury bruise ribs though it could be risky to bring him back in so we're actually going to bring Justin Houston in I believe and let him uh, play as long as he needs to before Birch fully heals up if he heals up before the end of this game just going to think long term with this one we're ready without one of our first round picks now we're down both of our first round picks Stafford's first snap is a bad one but he's able to hold it he's holding for a while three-man rush standing strong Stafford incomplete I actually realized that I skipped first and second down so uh completely apologize oh here it is here's first down and second down let's see how we got to third down and 10 uh that's Stafford to Amonra who nearly makes the spectacular grab unfortunately Amonra not quite able to haul it in Stafford on second down a bit late right there trying to hit Emery on the check down now we're back to the third down and 10. All right, so with that third down play, just got randomly sprinkled in there. And you see, we were looking for Debo here, and I was kind of hoping Debo would work his way back to the football. Instead, the cornerback played more like a receiver. And, uh, by the way, we have another player injured. The Detroit Lions are dropping like flies right now. That's Quentin Spann, our starting guard, our starting right guard, as Borgie takes the punt return to the 37-yard line. And... This is the worst injury here for uh, Span. That's a dislocated elbow. That's out for the game, and considering it's dislocated, probably going to be out for a while. So instead of Quinn Span, now we have Garrett Bowl, who is like a 72 overall guard on our team now. So that's a uh, big drop-off from what Quinn Span brings to us. In the meantime, oh, Borgie, what a grab on third down with Gavin Potter all over him. It's going to be a fourth down nonetheless, and the Falcons punt the ball away. So, uh, who's next for the Detroit Lions, right? It's like Russian roulette. You step on this field, and you might not be able to play the next snap. So, here's John Emery getting away from Matt. 
back, breaking a tackle. Oh, look at John Emery running tough, nearly getting that first down. Stafford underneath quickly, firing off the Debo. Stafford definitely not off to the best of starts, but that opening drive was uh, a little silly right there. Hopefully we can calm things down, and a key to us winning this game without DJ could be relying on the rushing attack of John Emery. Third down, it's going to be Stafford. Oh, no, finding the great white shark for the interception. Matt Stafford a bit too complacent to check the ball down there and that's immediately a scoring opportunity for the Atlanta Falcons. They'll try to take advantage on the ground but we do a good job of containing Gurley. It's third down at the pistol. Cunningham looking for the quick pass. It's not there. He'll check it down. Oh, Gurley gets away from Michael Wright and gets the first down as Borgi comes in. Oh, it's Borgi outside. He'll nearly get the first down. Oh, man, we should be off the field right now. In Instead, Gurley nearly scores the second Falcons touchdown. They'll get it from the fullback, Stoke. The Atlanta Falcons off to a hot start in this one. Falcons not coming into this game with the best of records, but we've had some close games with the Falcons in the past in the CFM. Back in season one, if you guys may remember, we had a nail biter against them in like week six of the first season. And then we played them in the uh, playoffs. I believe it was the wild card round. We had a close game as Amonra, St. Brown. Hopefully he can be the calming force for our offense because... It just seems like nothing's going right right now for us as John Emery runs the ball. He's really the calming force, though. Anytime we can get the ball to Amonra, not a bad idea. Stafford on third down to five. He'll get it one more time. Emery making the tough catch out the backfield. That's a first down. Stafford, good pocket. Great pass. Amonra safe. Brown getting major separation. We'll go end zone. Galladay. Not quite able to haul it in. Had a hand on it for a moment, but man, we just seem to be a beat off once again. Third down and Aiken Stafford. Oh, he'll make the right pass. Wide open. Justin Shorter for the touchdown. Shorter in for six. His second career touchdown, I believe. I know Justin Shorter has had catching issues, but that looked good, and it is good, so... Yeah, maybe uh, we kind of got to go opposite, right? Everybody expects us to run the ball with Emery, with uh, DJ out. Maybe we just air this ball with Matt Stafford, and hopefully we can play some defense, and more, most importantly, play some run defense, because that was our Achilles heel last week against the New York Giants. We couldn't quite contain uh, Ito Smith, for one, and mainly Saquon Barkley. So that was a good set of downs. Now we bring up a third down and long. It's Cunningham setting up the screen. Just gets it off. It's Borgi able to get away, and Max Borgi gets a back-breaking first down. Oh, man. And once again, second consecutive third down. We had guys in the right place. Oh, but couldn't quite make a play on the ball carrier. So now it's second down. Cunningham. He'll find Borgi. And right now the Atlanta Falcons. I think they stole a page out of the New York Giants game plan from last week where it's just a running back central offense. Third down and four. Let's see if they give it to Borgi again. We'll try to cover it ourselves. That force is Cunningham to hold. Oh, we had a man who was Fleming with some space. But Cunningham trying to locate that deep ball right there still. Still spotty accuracy in his third season in the league, and he's going to miss his receiver, and that's going to force an Atlanta Falcons punt. Stafford outside, in the corner. Holy cow, what a catch. Oh, man, he's so raw. St. Brown, Galladay, not quite able to work that ma magic. Kenny Galladay with 99 catch in traffic. You kind of expect him to make those plays. The plays that Taysom Hill just made here to get us to the 21. Stafford running the shovel option. It's Emery outside. Got a first down and suddenly with a minute 55 remaining. It's the Lions looking to tie. Stafford going to hold this one. Going to roll. Oh, so slowly. You can see some of the differences between Stafford and DJ. As Galladay running the sweep. Not quite able to get away from the great white shark. He's the only non-superstar in that front seven, but he's still making plays. End zone shorter. Ball goes too high. And that seems to be a consistent problem with our red zone attack where... You know, those high balls, it's kind of impossible to throw a high ball and get the receiver to toe-tap it in bounds. They kind of just walk out of bounds when you high ball it. So we get the field goal up and good with Tucker McCann. He's still having a perfect season, and we give it to Atlanta. Still holding, barely holding a lead with a minute 15 and counting left in the first half. They'll go play action with 40 seconds left. Cunningham downfield. Calvin Ridley wave goodbye. Atlanta to the crib. Oh, my goodness. A big splash for the Atlanta Falcons when it looked like they were stymized. When their defense stopped producing for the offense, it looked like the offense was out of gas, but 
Far from it. We kind of took our eye off the ball right there. That's the one threat in the passing game. Without Julio Jones on this team anymore. Oh, Stafford looked like he had a man downfield, but the blitz gets in. And uh, I believe the Falcons called a time. No, the Lions actually called a time out here with 28 seconds remaining. Oh, Stafford trying to put it in there. Maybe the Stafford of 10 years ago gets that one in. Oh, third down. It's a prayer for Matt Stafford. That's going to be picked off. Looking for Amonra St. Brown, but it's a sea of Falcons. I mean, the damn whole flock was there. Four or five of them. That was about to be an interception, and it was. And it's going to be a timeout by the Falcons here, I believe, with 16 seconds left. They'll run the ball with Borgi, and Borgi's going to get it to what is considered comfortable field goal range for them, I suppose, from 51 yards out. Still not going to be easy, but we are in a dome, and the Falcons are definitely playing for the field goal here. They're, they have two timeouts remaining, and they just sit on them and let the clock bleed out, which I suppose is fine by us. 51 yards. Got to hope he misses. It's young. How cool. Bang. Got the three points down the middle, and a big swing in the final minutes of the first half gets the Falcons a 14-point lead as we go to the halftime show. Let's go to Trey Lance and the San Francisco 49ers to get the week seven halftime show kicked off. Mike Williams posting up for six. Next up, pressure, bust, pipes. Oh my, Nick Bosa on fire, making Justin Fields feel the heat, and Trey Wayne's the beneficiary. He's in for six. The final play of the first half was spectacular. Hey, diddle, diddle, straight down the middle. It's TJ Logan for the score. The San Francisco Gold Rush is officially on. And those good vibes continue in the third quarter for the second time this game. On the post, it's Lance to Williams for six, and this is an absolute blowout but Robbie is looking to lead the rebellion for the Carolina Panthers what a dime from Justin Fields it'll go 83 yards but this touchdown feels inconsequential considering the score of the game we'll hold on just a second here is slittery Curtis Samuel oh my this battle is won by Curtis the final play of the third quarter is a statement as we suddenly have a one possession game and the comeback will be capped off by Christian McCaffrey underneath into the end zone we are all knotted up with 421 to play so how did the San Francisco 49ers answer after blowing a 21 point lead well the rookie is gonna calm the nerves down Jordan Wilmore running a man over in for the touchdown and this will be the dagger interception Mosley picking off Justin Fields and that will cap off a big San Francisco 49ers victory Panthers unfortunately still winless oh the chase was on but nobody was catching Jamar today long touchdown number one fast forward just a bit and Jamar Chase he is gone again oh my this was an absolute route Broncos get ran out of the gym Bills move to 5-1. Meanwhile, the Cleveland Browns rode an on-fire Baker Mayfield. That's a beauty. That's Odell. Major separation for the touchdown. This was all Baker Mayfield. The improvisation. Oh, the perfect accuracy. Pinpoint to Scotty Miller. And the Browns win big. Here's Justin Herbert in trouble. He'll be picked off. This will be a Chicago Bears touchdown from but from here on out, it was all LA Chargers. Boom! Oh, Derwin James picking the Bears apart. And we'll take this one all the way to the bank. Big Chargers victory moving on. It's Joe Burrow and the Tennessee Titans on the run. Trying to get away from the Houston Texans. Burrow gonna do it himself in 4-6, and with under 30 seconds to go, it's an Evans touchdown. It's a Titans victory in that AFC South battle. Meanwhile, in the north, oh my, it was all Diablo on the run for six. This is not a repeat. This is just once again, Mr. Diablo, right place, right time, in for six. Vikings ride their defense to victory. Meanwhile, in Seattle, oh my, what a pick. Jalen Smith, read it and weep. He'll take that screen pass to the crib. It was all 
Cowboys in this one. Russell Wilson, fourth down, desperation time. Oh, desperate times call for desperate measures. And OB, whoa, going to get by Russell Wilson, score the touchdown, and check out the celebration afterwards. Hit him with the LeBron silencer. I see you, young man. That's a Cowboys second victory of this season. Meanwhile, in the battle of undefeated, it's the Giants, the last team standing undefeated in the league in 2023, taking down Washington. Ooh, Jonathan Taylor taking apart this Ravens defense. Spectacular run, but... Indianapolis is going to fall for the first time this season. Baltimore gets the victory. Sounds Lamar Jackson. And finally, Sam Howell was forced into his worst career game against this Eagles defense. Stingy enough to get Philly the victory. We are back to start the second half. And even without DJ Uyongo, I think the consistent presence of what was going on with our team on offense and defense has carried into this game so far, right? A bit reckless with the ball as Stafford gonna make a good pass here to Galladay. And also we're not quite strapping up and run defense. So we gotta work on that. Here's Amon Ross St. Brown. What a game he's putting together. What speed he has. Oh my, flying all the way to the 19 yard line. Here's Stafford, he'll squeeze it. Shorter this time. Both feet in bounds. His second touchdown of the game. Just Justin Shorter suddenly emerging in this Lions offense. The boot, as always, skeptical if Shorter made the catch. But once again, he proves them. Yeah, he made the catch. And our Detroit Lions continue to plug away at this one, right? It seems like we're just... We're playing from behind throughout the entire game. And, you know, once we get the lead, I feel like, you know, we have a good chance of pulling away in this game. You know, we got to get the lead and we got to stop the ground game. Here's Gurley on second down. Whoa, lost it. Birch on the recovery. It was Aiden Hutchinson who rocked his world. And an immediate scoring opportunity now. It's our defense making the plays. It's Amon Racine Brown making all the plays. He'll get lit up as he's lit up. Here's Stafford. Play action shot. Got the time. Got Max Williams, and Max will nearly get us the first down. Here's John Emery. Oh, takes a shot there. We're so close. Really want to tie this game. Can we get it on third and one? It's Taysom Hill. He gets the carry. He gets the touchdown. Taysom Hill is making random appearances in this Detroit Lions offense. It's weird. It's splendid. It's a BAT up and good and a penalty to boot. That's roughing the kicker and we'll actually take on that. Usually I decline those, but I was like, you know what? Let's see if we could play some field position here with the Atlanta Falcons. It's a close game. Let's try to get whatever advantage we can and not bad, right? We uh, get them at their own 20-yard line. It's supposed to a 25-yard line touchback. And now they're backed up even more. Their own 17. Oh, and now it's a pick. Now it's Tracy walking away for six. Oh, I love the way you're walking. If you're walking that way, Tracy, he scores a touchdown yet again. What a season Tracy Walker is putting together. And there it is. The Detroit Lions suddenly have the lead. Oh my, what a back and forth game we have. Now it's time for the defense to really strap in as the Falcons run it on first down. Walker is dropped. Great at picking the ball, maybe not great at tackling the ball carrier. Gurley with another easy carry, and that's not what we want to see. We don't want to let Gurley get going. We don't want to let Borgi get going either as Cunningham dropping back. He has the time. Oh, my. That's a catch. Once again, it's Michael Wright who's very close to making a play, but um, not able to disrupt the pass either and ends up being caught in his area. So, I mean, that mid-zone KO looks like it's working really well, but uh, TBD as we have. Max Borgi, he'll get the first down on the screen pass as this running back centric offense continues. That's an injury to Bobby Wagner. My goodness. This game continues to have its ebbs and flows, taking out Lions in the process and that's a huge name right there. It's going to be a bruised elbow, so thankfully Bobby's not out long, especially with his age. You get kind of scared when you see a Bobby Wagner injury show up as Borgi runs the ball. Falcons suddenly in the red zone. Falcons continue to give it to those running backs, but now third down and nine. We're going to force Cunningham to make a play with his arm and he doesn't quite have it. The Sean Hand with the middle penetration, forcing the incompletion. That was more of a coverage sack than anything else. Or, or not really a sack, but almost was. Nonetheless, field goal up and good. And even though we bled rushing yards, we did the job in the red zone. And that's what makes defenses elite sometimes, right? You can bend but not break. As Stafford, he'll go to Amonra St. Brown. He's had quite the game, but he's not able to make the catch. That's going to deactivate his first one free right uh, X Factor, not really too important. This is very important. This is a pick, and this one will go for six as well. Stafford gives the Falcons the lead right back. Oh, 
man, oh man. I mean, if this is not a classic Matt Stafford Detroit Lions game, I don't know what is, right? Absolute shootout. Defense not quite helping him out. Stafford making a couple of boo-boos, but also making some spectacular throws in the process. And it's going to come down to the wire. Now let's hope that the comeback kid Matt Stafford can work his magic for us, right? We're going to be down heading into the fourth quarter, but the offense... It's been up and down, but we don't turn the ball over. We can put together good drives. Stafford, he'll play it smart here. And oh my goodness, man. He is looking every bit of 35 years old as he runs for that first down. John Emery is looking every bit as a tank as he breaks off tackles. Stafford, oh no. That's not what we wanted to see. That's a force. That's intercepted. And Matt Stafford just not quite seeing the field as well right now. And uh, some of these... I mean, I wouldn't say that we're really missing DJ too much, right? There's some throws that I feel like that could be delivered better. And, you know, the uh, inaccurate pass wasn't quite great, but some of it is just like, a lot of it's not really even Stafford. It's just us bringing back the same themes from last week. Ridley in the corner. Ooh, that's not a catch. Oh, my. Third down and 10, and we definitely got away with one there. Let's see if we can get the stop. Take advantage of the get. It's Gurley. He'll get the first down. He'll lose the ball as well. That's got to be down before he lost the ball, right? Will Harris on the recovery for now, but we'll wait for the boot to inevitably turn this one over and give the Falcons the first down at about the 34 yard line let's see where they place this one but it will be a first down for Atlanta it is over turns actually gonna be at the 29 yard line gotta make sure they don't get this two possession lead oh and that's not the way to do it what a grab by Julian Fleming good offense beats good defense oh putting the heat on there as they try to check it down to the running back Okuda forcing the incompletion second down Borgi with the unnecessary cutback there it's gonna bring up a third down they'll run the ball with Borgi on the counter Atlanta Falcons super conservative offense there and three times running the ball three times denied once again defense bleeds yards but doesn't give up the touchdown and thus we still have a chance to grab the lead and win this game in regulation with under five minutes remaining but we'll need Matt Stafford to keep it clean and put together a money drive Stafford dropping back three man rush not getting close to getting home Stafford's gonna roll the pocket he'll put it up for grabs oh my that great white shark one more time nearly did us in but it's gonna be incomplete it's third down it's Stafford quickly it's Emery out the backfield he'll get the first down once again time is ticking but not too much of a factor right now we just have to find a way to get yards get first downs and eventually get a touchdown Stafford he's got time again offensive line doing a pretty good job against this Atlanta Falcons pass rush that has some big names like Khalil Mack that's nearly a first down but not quite third down and one time is suddenly ticking it's Emery up the middle keeping hold for the first down linebackers drop way back right there and made it easy for us as we take it to the two-minute warning now this clock is chewing but it looks like the line are chewing it on purpose could they be trying to make this the last drive of regulation let's see Stafford look at this space he's gonna throw it in the corner Galladay did he make the catch and bounce no he did not but unnecessary roughness on the great white shark himself is going to give us a first down at the 27 nonetheless Falcons call a timeout here they know the jig is up here they need to get this stop this is the money drive for the Detroit Lions we are 27 yards away and counting trying to bring that down slowly but surely, once again, we're going to let this clock bleed after running the ball on first down strategically. Here's Stafford on second down. He'll get the pass off. Colliday! What a threading the needle. Pass with the pigskin. Matt Stafford. He gets Galladay out of bounds at the five. Five yards away. Need a touchdown. Oh, John Emery. Destroyed. Not going to get much more than a yard. And once again, we're chewing clock. Falcons not going to do anything about it. So it's going to come down to this drive. Can Matt Stafford come up clutch at the goal line? Maybe we give it to Emery. We do give it to Emery. Oh, what an effort. Close, but not quite we need two plays to get one yard the hardest one yard to get in the league what can matt stafford do for you he'll run it himself my goodness what a play call lions gamble and stafford delivers with his legs pat good tucker mccann for the lead with 31 seconds remaining how about the execution by the veteran matt stafford all we need to do is hang on for these final half a minute and we got it we got the win somehow some way and the atlanta falcons burn 
Oh no, they don't burn the timeout. It's a delay of game. Nonetheless, critical penalty there as the Falcons need every yard possible to work with to try to get into field goal range. Cunningham pump faking. He'll go underneath. We'll give that up every day of the week. Borgi nearly getting the first down, but more importantly, he'll cost the Atlanta Falcons their final timeout with 25 seconds remaining from their own 32. Here's Cunningham. He's looking for the quick pass. No. Up high. Oh! Too high! Looks like that tight end might have been able to make that grab there close to field goal range. Instead, it's third down and three. They'll go screen pass! Oh, they got to London! He'll need to get out of bounds, and he does. Oh, it's going to come down to the final play, isn't it? Five wide, 15 seconds left. Here's Cunningham. He's backing way up. He's going to lob it. It's picked. It's a pick. It's Tracy Walker. Flag on the play. Hold your horses. Oh, defensive pass interference on Brown. And that's going to put the Falcons in field goal range. Tracy Walker saves the day, but Brown takes away the opportunity instead. It's the golden horseshoe of gifts for the Atlanta Falcons, but they'll need to come up clutch on this kick to win the game. Young, how cool, how do you do? But game is not officially won yet. They actually left us some time here. Three seconds to do something. Ty Johnson going for a fair catch, doesn't get it. It's Chandler. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One second left. Good thing Chandler got down to give us a chance. We have some big receivers. Let's throw it up to one of them. It's Matt Stafford. Say a prayer for the game. Picked off by Woolen. And that's the way it all goes down. The Atlanta Falcons win a wild one in the Georgia Dome. The Detroit Lions just like a pendulum side to side up and down all around making your heart race giving you all the hope in the world and then taking it away but ultimately man <laughs> we had that game just a tough call went against us just a pass interference did not go our way unfortunately man like uh, what else can you do right we put our guys in positions we got the pick the most frustrating part is even if that tight end catches the ball surely the runoff ends the game right they can't get another snap off not even a spike so I mean, it's just a really annoying way to lose a game, a 10-minute quarter game, right? Like, you know, <laughs> against a team that completed five passes and that was not to their running backs and just, you know, gave it to their running backs the whole game. It's, it's frustrating, but, I mean, I, I, could, I could unload for hours. But all I could say is, right, we're facing adversity. There's only two ways this can go. All the way up, we respond well, or all the way down, we revert to our form from last season. There's really two completely exaggerated ways this can go and hopefully we take it the right way but uh unfortunately that's gonna be our second loss in a row leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw today uh wild game wild game shout out to matt stafford he put his heart and soul out there even though it was a sloppy game man he put on a show so yeah leave a like if you guys enjoyed it subscribe for more uh shout out to the falcons ggs to them and i'll catch you guys next time thank you as always for watching